Hiya guys, Spectre here. Um, this is a bit more information on understanding something about World of Warcraft. I made another video recently, which some people agreed with, and some people disagreed with, for obvious reasons. Your sweat lords will always agree with it, because they find the game fine the way it is to play. And that's pretty much all they know. But, that's not the way the game is going to get better. So... I'm going to bring something up, some information that's been brought to light. There's a video by Bellula, a great video by the way, Bellula, um, how educated estimation of this is how many players we've got now. These are rough estimations. This one was a another educated, highly educated estimation from somebody else of roughly this is where the retail player base is at. And then these ones I think are less highly educated but still educated guesses at roughly where the player base is split. So you can see roughly where it's at. Obviously some people who enjoy Classic might try out Season of Discovery vice versa. But some of the retail people have gone over to Season of Discovery as well. Try it out for the new abilities, that sort of thing. Now, to be fair, this is higher than I thought. I thought it had been close to like 5 million across all three games. So I'm surprised it's at that. But this is now because there's three versions of World of Warcraft. Where in the past, like let's say back at Legion, Legion could hold these numbers by itself. But that was the only game mode. There wasn't other game modes to play. Now, it, it's a difficult spot now where the player base is divided. So we'll go on it point by point. So a divided player base means we'll never see the heights of Wrath of Lich King on retail. But with some decent changes to meet younger and up and coming gamers, we could see the retail number double or even quadruple. It could go somewhere in that ballpark. And even if it's going from say 1.5 million to 3 million, that's still a lot more people. If you're quadrupling it and you're going to 6 million on retail by itself, that's a phenomenal increase and that's something worth investing in, definitely. If they want their game to have a future, because obviously there's not going to be any more expanded really on Classic. I mean, Classic Cat, they might bring out more Classic versions, I don't know why. I don't know why they're bringing out Classic Cat, because it's shit. They should have stopped at Rafa Lich King. So this is going to, like, season off. And to be fair, the bulk of these players are on Vanilla. They're not on Burning Crusade, they're not on Lich King. Lich King's dead with it. They really have. Some might go and check out Kata, but I don't think they'll stay that long. The bulk of these players are on Vanilla. Season of Discovery depends on where they take it and what they do with the game. Seem to be doing some okay things so far. Younger gamers and COD brain. So this is an important thing to understand. So COD being Call of Duty. Call of Duty, a lot of kids these days grow up playing. You see big streamers like Dr. Disrespect, good streamer, and they want to get into these sorts of games. And these games are fast paced and they're easy to play. And they're simple. Also like League of Legends as well is another one. As like what four abilities on a champion and you get two extras that you pick like your flash and whatever so you haven't got many abilities and it's the same thing on cod you haven't got many buttons you've got to press it's more about being good at aiming and shooting cod steps to play you download the game install it queue up and you play four steps it's all it takes and that's the same for most multiplayer type games if it's a single player game, you haven't even got a queue up. You just download, install and play. That's as simple as you're going to get a game these days. Now World of Warcraft. Download, install, pick a server. Could be low pop. Which, if you pick low pop thinking, oh right, I won't get any queue times or anything like that. But then when you get to max level, you've got no one to fucking play with. You've then got to either hope there's a free character transfer or you've got to pay for one. And obviously you've got to make a character. Most people will get past this phase. If they're going to play an MMO, they're going to know about this phase. I don't see anybody quitting at this phase. Otherwise, they wouldn't even bother buying the game. They'd have to be a moron to do so. Right. Play, play as your level, you find out you're getting more and more abilities, which you rarely use, but that's okay. So, as you're going, you're leveling your character from 1 to whatever, and you get abilities chucked in, and along with passive and stuff, you're building your character. You might look at some guides, you might decide, fuck it, I'll yolo it and do it myself. And then, if need be... Correct things later on. Right. You reach max level. Congrats. If you do. You now have 30 plus abilities and the same number of fingers. 
unless you're lucky and you've lost some, in which case even worse. Um, maybe a tad necessary, and by that I'm being sarcastic. It's fucking ridiculous. 30 plus abilities. You shouldn't have that in any game. Any game these days, single figure digits. One thing they've got it right with is Plunderstorm. Plunderstorm, seven. That's what they need in World of Warcraft. They can do it in Plunderstorm, do it in Season of Discovery, Classic, and in um, Retail, especially Retail. Season of Discovery is maybe, Classic might be left untouched, people, people might want that experience. They might not want that to change. So Classic might be just in a thing of its own. But Season of Discovery, being that it's also kind of like bringing parallel alongside the current content, that might have to be simplified as well. Especially since some of the problems from retail are now spilling over into Season of Discovery, which I'll get to later on. So, at max level, you try and get into a Mythic Plus or a Raid. You find someone kind of to tell you that you need 17 add-ons and they have to keep up to date after each patch. Most players will be like, what? Are you kidding me? Are you joking? Like, why aren't these add-ons part of the game then? Why have I got to go and download them? And then you also, which I left out of that part on the screen, you've then got to configure them. Especially if you're getting things like weak auras. And believe me, that's its own fucking arse ache. That's a game in itself. A boring one as well, at that. So after hearing this, most of your players are going to quit. Majority of your players will be gone. They'll be like, fuck this, ain't worth it. Unsubscribe, gone, that's it. Your new players have already fucking dipped. Because your game's shit. And it's far too fucking complex. You're talking people in the 12 to 18 bracket. Your new upcoming younger players. I'm 38. I played WoW when it came out. In 2004. There are people the next generation behind me. Who are still playing it now. But you got used to some of that levelling up. The kids now who are playing most of the first person shooters. And stuff like that. And maybe odd ARPG and things. These games are incredibly simple to play. And that's what grips them and keeps them in. When you've got this many abilities, you're not retaining anyone. No one is staying on the game. No one new. All you've got is a lot of your old players. Now, some of the ones that left from the peak of like 12 million, some of those now will be my age and older. Some that have got wives, kids, you know, they've grown up. They've grown out of the game. Some haven't got the time to play. Fair enough, they move on. But that doesn't account for us going from 12 million to 7 0.25. Some of them will have done not quite that many. Some of the ones that have stopped playing the game have stopped playing because it's become over complex bullshit. And you've got to bear in mind split your pay player base into three. So we'll actually type in here hardcore. Oop, but I can actually spell apparently. 10%. Super casual. 10%. And what you want to be catering to is your mid core, which is 80 fucking percent of your player base. This is what you want to be catering to. Not this, not this. If you lose 20% of your player base, you're retaining 80. These players together aren't worth shit. These might play one or two hours a week, if they're lucky. Some might not even play that. They've got super busy lives, demanding jobs, kids, out the wazoo. They can't play. Or it's not their primary hobby. They might have other hobbies they play. They might go out and play fucking tennis or something. You know, whatever. Your hardcore, no life it. They're probably putting in eight, ten hours or more a day. These people are going to be somewhere in between these. So these might play maybe one, two hours a week. Maybe three, four, five hours a week. Something like that. Oh, sorry, one, two hours a day, sorry. Not a week. Um, or maybe anything from, say, two hours to, say, maybe five or six hours a day. I mean, five, six is probably a lot. But towards the top end of them that come on to hardcore, they might have six hours a day to play. Your bottom end towards your super casuals might only have one or two hours a day to play. But these are going to be the bulk of your player base. These are what Blizzard has lost. 
They're what's going to make the game grow, make it stay relevant, be around for a long fucking time. You can't cater to this, which is what they've catered to. You've lost 90% of your player base because you've catered to this. You might have maybe kept 10% of these that are on the higher end. You've still lost 80% of your player base. Is that a good model for making a viable business and keeping the game running? Fuck no. It's retarded. Why would that even step in someone's mind? I've got no idea. And even recently, Ian Hazakostas has come forward and said they're sick of nerfing Mythic Raid bosses. Because they designed a Mythic Raid bosses originally for the top 20 or 30 guilds in the world. Then they've got to nerf it for the top 100. And they're your Hall of Fame guilds. Then they've got to nerf it again for your top 500. Then they've got to nerf it again for your top 1000. Then they've got to nerf it again for your top 5000. Four times they've got to nerf every boss. So developers have got to go back in there and nerf the bosses to make them even killable to a decent number of players. That should tell you alone that they are too hard. And especially when you need add-ons to actually make them even killable. Even if you put Liquid and um, Echo in there, if you put them in there with no add-ons, are they going to complete a Mythic Raid unnerfed? Good fucking luck. They wouldn't be able to complete the Mythic Raid if it was nerfed. Regardless how good those players are. There's a distinct problem here with the game. If you guys aren't seeing it, I can't help you. At max level, you try to get a Mythic Plus. Uh, oh, in fact, we've done that one, the next one. So, say you want some of the 1% that somehow sucks up this bullshit, does it, and you try to get into Mythic Plus or Raiding Guild. The Mythic Plus player asks, okay, what is your highest key? You are new, so they don't take you. You've not done a key before. You're trying to get into them. The Raiders ask, what is your best passes? You are new and you are like, what the fuck is a pass? And upon hearing that, they're like, sorry, we can't take you. Yeah. You're okay, you're a nice guy, but can't take you. This is alienating newer players getting into the game. And it's extremely fucking stupid. In what's supposed to be an MMO. Massive multiplayer online. Keyword, massive. You're making your player base either stay the same size or shrink. It's actually shrinking, to be fair. But still, it's... So fucking stupid. How a new player is going to get into the game and even get a chance to prove to see if they actually are good. Spend the next couple of hours trying to get into either and find none will take you and all you can do is Mythic Zero or LFR. Which both are crap and useless. So 1% of new players make it is a waste of time. They're leveling and they quit because they can't even play the game because it's an add-on driven elitist player. Base, congrats. You just killed your own game blizzard. You can fix this. You can fix this. But if you wait too long, people won't care anymore. If you wait too long, your potential player base will be gone. Because nobody will give a shit. You're a AAA company. Now owned by the big one of the biggest companies on the planet. You shouldn't have add-ons in a AAA game. You shouldn't rely upon them. And base your content around third party add ons. Get them out of your fucking game and get your shit together. Fuck me. The problems have now spread to Season Discovery 2. If Blizzard don't solve this, why well, won't be in a few years? They've massively simplified the game. A few years is probably oversimplified. It'll probably still be here in probably five or ten years, but the player base is going to be drastically smaller unless they make absolute banging decisions in the upcoming war within and that's a fact get rid of every add-on reduce the number of ability clutter and maybe save the game from total collapse now one of the things we're going to bring up here about this spreading to season of discovery a friend of mine recently messaged me and he said you used to play world of warcraft didn't you i have played it for many years played it for like 13 years he said um, is it an okay game to get into I said he played an MMO before, and he said no. I said, it's probably a bit elitist, because if you are, so I'd play classic if you're going to go into the game. I said, but try it out, decide for yourself, and I said, see what you think. He went on to the game, he took my advice, he played classic, he enjoyed it. Classic, you don't really need add-ons. 
there's an odd few that people might recommend, but you don't really need them. So it went in, played classic, had a bang. Big raids, lots of people, loved it. It then decided it was going to check out retail. Big mistake. So he jumps onto retail, levels his character max level, gets all his associated like dungeon gear and stuff like that. And then the questions up above, which is why I made part of this post, that he was getting asked, was this. So he found out he couldn't play the game. He was waiting for five hours in the main city of Dragonfly. I don't play Dragonfly. I don't know. I quit halfway through Shadowlands. And I don't intend to going back until they fix the fucking game and actually make it a game again. A moment it's not a game. A moment it's just a chore. Um, so he couldn't do anything with his character. So he logged out and he made a character on Season of Discovery. Started playing it. This is where things got even worse. He got to level 25. Heard about this raid that used to be a dungeon. Black Fathom Deeps. So he tries to get into a thing for it. First thing he's asked is, what are your parsers? And he, he told me he facepalmed. And he were like, not this shit again. Because he just heard about parsers in retail. They've got it at level 25 in Black Fathom fucking Deeps. Parsers. It's level 25 content. It's not even halfway to the level cap. Are you retarded, you people? Are you actually retarded? Fucking level 25 and you're asking for parsers. So if they're asking for parsers at level 25, it's probably logical to assume they're asking for fucking parsers at level 40. Who are these elitist assholes asking for parsers at level 25? It's not an end game raid. It's an early game raid that never existed before and it used to be a dungeon. They don't ask for passes at level 20 fucking 5. You shouldn't even need add-ons or anything to do it. It's a fucking 25, 20, level 25 thing. It's a joke. Good God. So that's at level 25. You've got level 40 numbering. They're going to bring out a raid, whatever that's going to be at level 50. And then you're going to have the revamped raids at level 60. And whatever they're going to do with those. But now parsers have now infected like a fucking virus, which is what they are. And have gone into Season of Discovery. So I imagine that this up here is going to start to drastically decrease. This one should remain relatively unchanged. Because in that they don't really ask you to pass as a give a shit. I still think in Classic they could reduce the number of abilities. And so they've got synergy across all three. So if they did go with something like seven abilities like they've done in Plunderstorm. They could do it across all three variants. So then regardless of what character you play or what var variation of the game. You've got the same number of abilities on every character, every class, every spec. All they do is they change them for class to class, spec to spec. I don't know why that's so hard to do. I really don't. I don't know why you need 30 abilities to make a game playable. I'm playing an ARPG called Last Epoch. I've got five abilities and the game is fucking amazing. Absolutely amazing. You don't need a lot of abilities to make a game good. And if you think you do, you've got a shit understanding of a game. And that's why out of all three of them, this one has the lowest player base. And that's why most of the servers are dead. Because that's 1.5 million across all the retail servers. So most servers are going to be fucking devoid of players. There's going to be no one on them. It's not good. And it's not looking good. And the fact that now people are asking for passes in Season of Discovery. That's going to be going the same way. So if they don't fix this. Season of Discovery and anything else they make like it. Potentially your retail latest weirdos. Are going to bleed the infection into other variations of the game. The only one that seems to remain unaffected is Classic. So your players are either going to all wind up back in Classic for a large part. Obviously, I'll keep summing everyone. They're not going to be like completely at zero. But you're not going to see any new players coming into these. Your new players are all going to head here for the fun gaming experience. That's what that is. 
I, I don't know what the fuck they have done with this. I really don't. I know how they can fix it. I do know how they can fix it, which is simplify your game, reduce the number of abilities by far, and get rid of every fucking add-on. Get rid of them all. When you've got things like Raider IO in the game, people checking passes and stuff, and they're now checking people at level 25, it's like, come on. You've got new players jumping into the game. The day one, you know, trying it out, trying to get an understanding. It's like, come on. You're asking for passes at level 25. What the fuck has this game become? What has it degraded into? If, if somebody would have asked me at level 25 for some sort of pass or something when I was first fucking playing through it, I'd be like, what? I'd be like, fuck this. I'm not signing up for a fucking job. Or something. I'm trying to get into a dungeon or a raid. Oh, what's your passes? What's your passes that? Oh, you're on a passing at a 40. They're looking for like 60. Fucking absolute goddamn losers. If you're the, the people that are bled from retail and are asking new players in Season of Discovery for passes on a level 25 raid. You've got fucking problems. You really have. You're not you're not helping your game. If you actually love this game, you are helping it die faster. You're not helping the game. You're not going to get in new blood and new players to help play the game. You're driving them away. You need to fix your understanding and your thinking of these newer players. And Blizzard needs to fix this. This is not for... The players to correct how they are, I suppose. If they're going to be an elitist jerk, the public always going to be an elitist jerk. Buzzer needs to fix this. You need to force it upon the players. So then they can't ask you for passes if add-ons aren't in the game. You're not going to have a... A complex time learning your rotation if you've got less than 10 abilities. You're not going to have a... Over-complex thing to do in the game if they simplify it right down get rid of mythic get rid of heroic get rid of lfr you know have one difficulty maybe make it like a mix of normal and heroic so you get a little bit of both but then you ain't gonna nerf the bosses anymore see i'm gonna have a developer you're not gonna have Ian come over to you and go you know what all all the fame readers have got their achievements now we need to nerf it again for the top 500 and i'll be like fuck's sake again how many times have I got to nerf these same fucking bosses? And you've got to go back through this fucking raid and nerf every goddamn boss to make it killable for the next top 500. And bear in mind, these will still be good guilds, good players. But it's that difficult, even they can't kill it. Even they can't kill it without nerfs. It's too much. Fix the fucking game. Fix it. This is beyond broken. And it's laughable to think you've let it get to this state. And go from 12 million players to this. Because even that's a massive decrease. Now, some of it might not be the game's fault. It might be aging player base. But the player base is still aging. There are still people going up, getting jobs, getting girlfriends and wives, having kids. What are you going to do when the next generation comes up? Because they're not going to want to play this sack of shit. Not that they've got to download 17 third party add-ons. And update them continuously. But that's my rant. I thought I'd get, let it get known out there. Blizzard, you need to fix this. And fast. You do. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, this will be part of a playlist. I'll leave it in the top of the description. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Take care everyone.